What's up, everybody? I'm Brew. And I'm Ray. And we're Brew Ray. Ray. And today we're back with another One Piece episode, episode two, season one. And uh, just to jump right into it, we pick right back up with our uh, hero, Luffy, and Kobe. Kobe, who's traveling with him. They're headed to the Navy uh, base. base. Yeah, like, Where they hear that Roanoa Zoro is. And Luffy is very interested in Zoro. Right. So they land at the base and Luffy is like instantly, let's go to where he at. And Kobe's like, are you like, you're really serious about getting him to come with you? He's like, yeah, I just want to see, you know, if he's a good guy or not. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to let him join the crew, but I just want to see how he is as a person first. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luffy just picks up this pear or whatever and just bite it. I thought he was going to. Just take it. I thought first. he was too. I thought he was gonna take but yeah, it. Yeah, but he tipped the guy like look like a penny or something. A lady. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> but he gave a penny paid for it and said, you know, hey, do you know if Roy Nora Zoro is at the base? And everybody just jumped back like, oh. And they look around and Kobe's like, oh, Zoro's Zoro is like a hot, yeah, yeah, like, like a hot name right yeah. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> just say his name like that. You're like, okay. So they walking down the street some more, and Kobe says, "Man, I'm excited. We're here at the Marine base. I'm finally here, and I heard that Captain Morgan is the leader or the superior officer here at this base." And everybody jumped back again, and Luffy is just cracking up at this. He's like, "Man, this town is funny, man. They just like jumping back." Kobe's like, "Who would do that? Who would just jump back in fear? Yeah, but just for fun." So. Uh, cutting forward, they make it to the base, right? Mm -hmm. And Luffy's like, "Okay, where is he?" Kobe still being just a know-it-all intellectual, or whatever. He's like he's, he's probably like, inside of a cell. There's no telling where he is inside of that base camp. Right, and Luffy's like, "There you go." It's Kobe's just like, like every. No, he ain't. Right. No, he ain't. Let me, let me. Oh, oh, oh! There, there he is. There he is. It's right there. So they peeking over this wall and they just saying and they just talking to themselves it was just funny you know saying like oh okay he's supposed to, this guy's supposed to be the evil demon person or whatever that everybody's scared of are you really? sure he's strong are you sure he's strong because he's tied up i probably would have been broke out <laughs> and um so kobe's like you like no that's him he's like the the scarf they or the, the headband bandana that he got on mm -hmm. and then he said some other word, so I'm guessing that's like the the, 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 the band around, around his waist or whatever. He's like, no, like that's him. And Zoro sees them without even looking up or whatever, just because he's Zoro. He looked, <laughs> without looking up, he just said, hey, you two, y'all some eyesores, get out of here. Like, y'all blocking my good view, like he had a good view anyway. But, you know, so they just stand there and they just looking. And then this little girl comes up with a ladder. She's like, shh, I'm about to get him. <laughs> I'm like, what What are you going to do? Like, really, what What are you there to do? And it's so funny because it's like, as she's going over the, over the wall, walking towards Zoro, Kobe's like, oh, my gosh, she's going to get killed. Oh, Luffy, my gosh, Luffy, help grab her. Grab her. I'm grab like, her. and I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, Kobe, I'm pretty sure she's from here. She wouldn't jump over and go towards him if... You know, she knew, but I know kids do stuff, but I'm pretty sure that little girl is smart. So. Right. So, what she was there to do was to feed Zoro because he'd been out there. And she's like, I know you haven't eaten, you know, so like, and I and I made it myself. This was my first time. I worked so hard on him. And Zoro just, you know, kind of being a little mean, a little harsh right now, saying, hey, you know, little peep squeak, get out of here. You're an eyesore, too. And she's like, but I work so hard. I'm just not really hungry. trying to. He's Go. like, get, get out of here if I have to kick your tail, too. I'm like, Zoro, really? Like, you go whoop the little girl, really? But obviously, we know him. he was just trying to help her because uh, coming up through the gate was um, uh, some Marines and uh, another guy that was in the suit who we find out his name was Helmempo, uh, yeah. the son of Captain Morgan, uh, who's here. But he's like a bratty dude. It's Spoiler, terrible just... haircut. It's worse than Rock Lee haircut from Naruto. So, <laughs> like so much worse. <laughs> yeah, so much worse. So he comes up. He's like, oh, um, something about the little girl trying to help. 
She's like, oh, these these look good. And he just snatches one. She's like, hey, these ain't for you. Right. Stop. He bite it. And he's like, oh, it's too sweet. He throws it on the ground, like, spit that one out. Like, don't you know you're supposed to use salt and rice balls? And she's like, I just thought it would taste better if I use sugar. And he kicked the, he knocks the other one over and just stumps on him. Like, they wasn't even for you in the first place. Right? So, Rude. like, yeah, like, you could have just let it go. But he's like, hey, toss her over. Because he's like, you must then read this notice that anybody that helps the crim- criminal uh, will be executed. It's like, well. going to kill the little kid? Yeah, and like, well, I guess even little girls know how scary my dad really is. Uh, that being Captain Morgan, which explains why the people in town was jumping to the side, not only when they heard Zorro, but the captain's name as well. Mm-hmm. So they don't really want, they don't want to throw her over, but because he's such a spoiled brat, if he t- he threatens to tell his dad, they could get in trouble. Because they will get he's trouble. their captain. He has to follow the book. They have to follow his orders, even if it's coming from his son. Like, well, I don't want to get in trouble with my captain, which is your dad, for something stupid that you're doing and you're asking me to do that I don't want to do. Yeah, so they have to do it. And he just whispers to the girl, look, I'm sorry, but just carry yourself up into a ball. I'm going to throw you over this leg or over this wall. So he throws over the wall. Luffy catches her. And Kobe, uh, he runs up. Luffy, are you okay? And then runs direct straight to the little girl and say, hey, are you all right? And Luffy is now like, he's like, he don't know what's going on here. Something, something is up here. Something is not as it seems. Yeah, even Kobe is like, why Like, why would they do that? Because like, mm-hmm. at first he thought that the Marines was there to help the little girl. Because they thought she was... Or he thought she was in trouble or would get in trouble being there with Zoro, like maybe Zoro would hurt her or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, fast forward through the episode, uh, we come to this bar. Mm-hmm. Um, and Hell Meppo is in the bar. And, no, no, this was when we find the out about... Girl was telling, yeah, she was telling yeah. the story about how Zoro... Ended, ended up, up in the situation that they were in. Right, right. So Zoro was basically visiting the the city. He was sitting there eating mind his own business. And Helmelpo comes through town with his little ugly dog wolf, wolf pet. looking thing. Ridiculous. And he's like, uh, let my pet through. Anybody stands in his way will be executed. I'll let my dad I'll tell my dad, you know, stuff like this. So the the animal goes into the bar and starts jumping on the tables, getting people's food. And the little girl was like, had this little weapon that she had this little stick like a thing. Mop. Yeah, like this little mom. And she was hitting the dog, the little it. dog, like, stop, like, get out of here. And the dog was coming to her until Zorro threw a stool. Threw a stool and hit the dog. The dog went flying. So Hamelpo was like, who? Who? Who are you? Who, who did that? <laughs> you know, he's shaking and stuff. Yeah. And he's scared. And he sees Zoro. So when he sees Zoro, he instantly knew. Are, are like, you, don't tell me. Are you are you pirate hunter Zoro? Zoro's like, if I, I am. am. You know, like, what what are you going to do? What if I am? And he ends up um, trying to attack trying to Zorro. Attack Zorro. Why is he eating? Zoro like, let me eat in peace. Because you annoy me. You and your little dog. Right. So he swings at Zoro with the sword. Bad mistake. Zoro uses sword. Zoro dodges, kicks his sword up, and then punches him. And when he he's laying up against the the counter or whatever, and Zoro pulls his sword and aims it at. I know Hemelpo was like, "I'm a goner. This is this this is the way I'm finna go." Wait, wait, I got an idea. But luckily, he's a quick thinker, so he says, "Zoro, hey, you know, if I tell my dad, you know, these people will be in trouble. So let's just make a deal. You take their place for a month." No food, no water, no nothing. Strung up in the sun. And I'll spare these people. And if you survive, I'll let you live too. And I'm just like, like, you couldn't do nothing to him even if you wanted to. So, but Zoro is an honorable person and he takes the deal. He drops his sword. They, um, they take his swords, put them up. Hellmepo has them in his room. And, um, now Zoro is strung up. So now Luffy uh, and Kobe here because Kobe said he was like, 
so are the rumors about Zoro not true? Right. And that's when the little girl began to tell the story because Kobe's been hearing rumors about Zoro. But after she tells the story, he's saying, well, they may not be true. And the yeah, little girl yeah. is just crying. So uh, now Luffy and Kobe is at this bar where the incident happened. And Hemmelfo is still in there just being a rude me, guy. Give me some booze. We all I'm eat gonna free eat. today. We're going to eat free today. And we also see the orange haired lady from the first episode, we which we know is Nami. But um, she's sitting in the background, and uh, when Luffy walks in, they, you know, they kind of showing her listening to what Helmepo is saying. And Luffy walks by, and uh, Helmepo, like like we said, he's just being a brat. Feed us, we eating free today. Got his feet on the table, smashing the food up and stuff. And I'm like, if you hungry, why you just didn't eat what was on the table right there? But that aside, Hamepo is just telling his story. Yeah, yeah, I'm tough. I'm bad. I can do what I want. My dad is the captain around here. And, you know, I've been pretty bored lately, so, no, forget the deal. I'm just going to go ahead and execute Zoro tomorrow. And Luffy, Luffy okay. hears this, and without hesitation, without hesitation. Just, I mean, just run up and <laughs> punch him dead in the face. And he's like, who are you? And Luffy is like really trying to get at him and you Kobe know, come like, up and grab him. Luffy's almost like, let me at him, let yeah. me at him. And Kobe's like, wait, 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 Luffy, wait. <laughs> right, so I'm like, Kobe a little stronger than he let know. So I'm right. like, how would he be able I to just hold away. Luffy? Yeah, he could have. Yeah, he definitely could have got we it. understand. Right, so Kobe's holding Luffy back. And Hellman was like, I'm going to tell my dad. He's like, fight me yourself. He's like really amped up to get this guy. He's like, this guy is scum. Luffy's like, like why is, you gotta bring your dad into it? This is between me and you. Fight your own battle. Right. So after this scene, Luffy ends up right back in front of Zoro. Zoro's and like, you are persistent. Guy. You got like, so much free you time just, on your you hand. You just like, don't listen. Go away. <laughs> yeah, like I don't want to see you. Man. I just want to do my little ten days that I got, and I'm gone. And he was like, um, join hey, my crew. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna join my crew. He's like, I'm not gonna be a pirate. No, gonna be a pirate. He's like, people already think you evil. Uh, evil pirate hunter. He's like, I don't care what they say. I'm gonna <laughs> live how I wanna live. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Right. And he's like, Luke is like, eh, but I've decided. You're gonna join my crew. He's like, you can't go and make own. decisions for me. Yeah, <laughs> decide on your own. You can't tell me. Uh, so Luffy's like, all right. I'm, um, he's like, okay. Somebody. He's like, he's like, I hear that you use swords. Right, right, right. And he was like, yeah. He said, well, my sword got taken away by, basically, by him Helmepo. And Luffy's like, hmm, okay, well, if, you want your if I go get your sword, yeah. you got to join my crew. It's like he didn't even give Zoro time to answer because he instantly <laughs> he started, started running. And then Zoro's like, he gonna take he's on really the base. Finna, yeah, like he's really going to go to the base. He's like, wait, wait, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> the base is that way. And instead of just running back, you know, Luffy can stretch. So he hit Gumbo 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 no rocket. And Zoro, and Zoro like, like sees it, but he like not believing. It's and it's so funny. Who is this guy? It's so funny, like just going back and looking at everybody's reaction to the first time seeing Luffy stretch and mm -hmm. just use his power. Because even in the first episode, like we learned that um, they heard about the Devil Fruit powers, but nobody really just knew if they were really real. Mm -hmm. So to see everybody's first reaction to Luffy uh, stretching is, is pretty, it's funny. pretty funny. So Luffy's going to the base. He's trying to figure out how to get in. And he hears commotion up on the top of the roof. Uh, and this is where... Uh, we first get to see Captain Morgan. Well, we see him in the office scene because oh, Hell yeah. goes and tells his dad, look, somebody punched me. I want you to execute this person. So fast forward and do all that. Now on top of the roof, He's raising a statue to himself, and you can see why people is is scared of him because he's trying to rule with a like a with an iron fist. Um, well, yeah, axe. <laughs> so, and he has an axe for a hand. He's missing one complete hand. It's, it's an axe of axe hand Morgan. Morgan. Uh, yeah, Captain Axe Hand Morgan. And he's huge. Yeah. he's a pretty huge guy. Yeah, he's pretty tall, and uh, so he hurt. They on top of the roof. He's trying to raise a statue to himself. And he's uh, telling everybody, you know, hey, I heard it was an intruder earlier in the execution yard. In the execution yard. 
<laughs> and uh, he said, yeah, it was a little girl, but I let her go. He said, I, well, he said, I hope you executed her. And he's like, no, nah, she was a little girl. I just let her go. He's like, you pointing to somebody actually in the Navy. Uh, go get her and kill her. He's like, but she's a little girl. I can't within good conscience do this. And he walked up on him. Captain Morgan walked up on him and was like, anybody who defies my order is is considered treason towards me. So, like, either you're going to do this or we got a problem. He's yeah, like, sir, I problem. can't. <laughs> he just hit, I'm thinking he's going to kill him with the axe, but he just hit him over the head, kind of knock him out for a minute. And Luffy hears all this commotion up there. He's like, everybody, get back to raising the statue. This one dude bumps the statue against the little dome up there and he instantly got scared. Like as soon yeah. as it was, I think it was like Captain Morgan's hand, on, like on the statue, it was like his hand or something. Mm-hmm. And as soon as it happened, like he instantly got scared. Captain Morgan instantly was behind him, and he was like, "You bumped it, didn't you? You bumped it. It's like out of all these people right here. Didn't I tell how you, you know it was just him? Yeah, didn't I tell you to treat my statue like it was me? So if you bump my statue, that's treason against me. I'm like, bro, everything is treason against oh, you. Damn. The statue." You yourself, like, you you got to calm down. So, Luffy, again, takes a shortcut, rocket up. That was a little too far. Yeah, so he's flying by, but he catches on to the rope. There's one of the ropes that's actually holding up the statue. And it's funny, because he was like, go, go, no rocket. He was like, oh, I went too far. He grabbed the rope. I stopped. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's stopping. Everybody's like, oh, like, he got the rope. So everybody right now is already scared. And half the statue falls. And Luffy's just like, go in the fight. I'm sorry. Oh my yeah. gosh, what's gonna happen? He's gonna go crazy. Everybody we sees all did. him. <laughs> He's like, sees him. Everybody, yes, yeah, sir, we gonna get him. And him Beppo's like, that's, that, him. that's the guy. That's the one who punched me. And, and as soon as he finished his sentence, mm-hmm. Luffy was right there. Right like, there in his face. He's I've like, been looking I've been looking you. <laughs> I need you to help me get something. And he snatched her and he run. And. Captain Morgan like, get him. Don't let him escape. And I'm like, you're not worried about your son at all. Because he didn't say, hey, help him. But we already seen he really don't care about nobody but himself. So, uh, Luffy uh, has him and for a hostage. And he takes him to his swords. And once he gets his swords, he looks out the window and notices. Well, before that, when Luffy takes him, Kobe jumps over the wall to go and get Zoro. And one of the soldiers are like, Captain Morgan, someone just entered the execution yard. He's like, what? He says, just one traitor after another. So, Luffy finds Zoro's sword that was in Helmetpo's room. He notices out the window that Kobe's in the yard and that Captain Morgan and them has confronted him and is about to shoot execute him. him. Or shoot him, yeah. And Luffy, right on time, jumps in the way and protects him with the bullets because he's rubber, so bullets don't hurt him. But they don't know that. Right. So as soon as the bullets get to flying, and Zoro and Kobe are like, like, oh my gosh, basically they look on their face. And then, you know, Luffy smiles, the bullets bounce back. He's like, it doesn't work. It's like, Zoro's like, who is this guy? Like, what is going on? Right. And he says, hey, I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm going to be the Pirate King. And that's the end of the episode. So, I mean, like, I'm very... It's it just uh, pretty interesting. Like I said, it's just funny going back, looking and see everybody's reaction to Luffy uh, stretching for the first time. And mm-hmm. seeing... Also, even in the episode, like I said, we've seen Nami once again, and she was also trying to break into the Navy base. But because Luffy caused the commotion, she wasn't able to, and she just abandoned the idea. Uh, or at least that's what it seemed like she did. Mm-hmm. Um, but just going back and seeing how everybody was coming together, how Luffy is now getting Zoro, how he met Kobe, and kind of Nami's role before she's really properly introduced. It's just interesting just seeing how everything is unfolding. It, it's, it's exciting, too, because it, it, like, it re- reiterates like your interest in like One Piece is like a really, really good show. Right. And just going back and looking like even at the very beginning how confident Luffy was in himself and his confidence literally rubbed off on every person that he met and it's it's just it's funny it's amazing it's very exciting 
I look forward to more episodes. This was ep One Piece episode two, season one. And like, comment, subscribe. Share the, the video with everybody that you know. Look forward to more content.